Welcome back to my channel everyone. This time, we will be talking about tangents and seconds. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video tutorial. Let's talk about tangent and second line. What is a tangent line and what is a second line? A tangent line is a line that intersect a circle at one point. And the second line intersect a circle at two points. So the figures below are examples of tangent and second line. But which is the tangent line and which is the second line? Figure A, the line intersect the circle at exactly one point. So in this point. So it means figure A is, the line in figure A is a tangent line. And this point here is called the point of tangency. For figure B, because this line intersects the circle at exactly two points, this line is a second line. And as you can see, this second line forms a chord. Again, this one is a chord. Now, let's proceed to postulate on tangent line. So, the postulate states this way. At a given point on a circle, one and only one line can be drawn that is tangent to the circle. So... Uh, uh, let's try to underline the important words. Point on a circle, one and only one line can be drawn that is tangent to the circle. Because we all know that the circle is consists of a lot of points, then each point in the circle will only have one tangent line. For example, this point here will only wa will we can only draw. We can only draw one tangent line. And another point here, we can also draw another tangent line. Another point here, we can draw another tangent line. And so on and so forth. Now, let's talk about theorems on tangent line. There are three theorems. First theorem states this way. If a line is tangent to a circle, then it is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. So, let us first unlock the following words. When we say tangent, it intersects the circle at exactly one point. When we say perpendicular, it forms 90 degrees or a right angle. When we say point of tangency, that is the point where the circle and the tangent line meets. So, if we have a line that is tangent to a circle, for example, this is the tangent line, then it is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. So, this line is perpendicular to the radius so, first, let's draw a radius that is drawn to the point of tangency. This is the point of tangency. Let's draw the radius. Then, the first theorem states, means this way. This tangent line is perpendicular to this radius. So, it forms 90 degrees or it forms a right angle. This one is 90 while the other side is also 90 degrees. Theorem number two. If a line is perpendicular to a radius of a circle at its endpoints that is on the circle, then the line is tangent to the circle. So it is um, the reverse of theorem number one. So if we have a line that is perpendicular to a radius of a circle, so again, we have... Now, if we have this line and it is perpendicular to the radius of the circle, so how to know that it is perpendicular? It forms a right angle then the line is tangent to a circle then we can conclude that this line is tangent to the circle theory number three if two line segments from the same exterior point are tangent to a circle then the two line segments are congruent so let's uh, unlock the words when we say line segment it's a line with two endpoints when we say exterior point so it's a point that is found outside the circle when we say congruent it means equal or the same. So, there are two line segments from the same exterior point or tangent to a circle. So, we have an exterior point. Then there is a line segment with the same exterior point. And this line segment is also tangent to a circle. So, it intersects only once 
in the circle. Then, the two line segments are congruent. This line segment and this line segment is congruent. If we have this as uh, W, and this one is D, and this one is G, then we can write that line segment DW, line segment DW is congruent to line segment GW, line segment GW. Now let's proceed to theorems and angles formed by tangents and seconds. For the first theorem, if two seconds intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle formed is one half the positive difference of the measure of the intersected arcs. Theorem number one shows this way. There are two seconds that intersect in the exterior of the circle, then the measure of this angle is one half the difference of this arc and also this arc. So if we have this arc as 100 degrees and this arc is 20 degrees, then the measure of this angle is this way, is solved this way. So measure of angle x, p, y, x, p, y is equal to, again, one half of the difference of this arc and this arc. So this arc is, that arc is x, y, and this arc is m, n. Let's substitute the following given. x, y, arc x, y is 100 degrees, minus this arc is 20 degrees. 100 minus 20 is 80. 80 degrees. And one half of 80 degrees is 40 degrees. So the measure of angle X, P, Y is 40 degrees. Theorem number two. If a second and a tangent intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measure of the intercepted arcs. Theorem number two shows this way. So it's just like theorem number one, but instead of having two second lines, we are having a tangent line and a second line. So, the angle formed here is solved in this way. That is, one half the difference of this arc and this arc. So, if this arc measures 180 degrees and this arc measures 40 degrees, then to solve this angle here is by using this formula. Measure of angle VEA is equal to one half of this arc arc VA measure of arc VA minus measure of arc VR let's substitute the following given one half and measure of arc VA is 180 degrees minus measure of arc VR is 40 degrees 180 minus 40 is 140 degrees and one half of 140 is 70 degrees so the measure the measure of angle V, E, A is 70 degrees. Theorem number three. If two tangents intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle formed is one half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. Theorem number three shows this way. Just like theorem one and two, this angle is one half the difference of the intercepted arcs. So we have this major arc and this minor arc. We get the difference and then multiply it with one half and that will be the measure of that angle. So if the if this major arc is 260 degrees and this uh, minor arc is 100 degrees then the measure of this angle is of this way. So measure of angle angle VER angle VER is equal to again one half of the difference of the intercepted arc. First put the major arc which is V R A. I mean V A R. Measure of arc V A R. Minus the measure of arc V R. Substitute the following given. Arc V A R is 260 degrees. And arc V R is 100 degrees. 260 minus 100, that is 160 degrees. And one half of 160 is 80. So the final answer, or the measure of Angle VER is 80 degrees. Theorem number 4 states this way. If two seconds intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of an angle formed is one half the sum of the measures of the arcs intercepted by the angle and its vertical angle. 
this figure shows what is theorem number four. Not like theorem number one, wherein there is um, the two second meets outside the circle. In theorem number four, there are two second lines that meets inside the circle. So here, in in this theorem, we solve the following angles. These four angles, that, that is angle one, this is angle two, this is angle three, and this is angle four. In the previous theorems, we solve the angles by having one half of the difference of the intercepted arcs. Here, because the intersection of two seconds is found inside the circle, then we will solve the angle by having one half the sum of the two intercepted arcs. If the following arcs measures, this arc measures 140 degrees, this arc measures 40 degrees, this arc measures 80 degrees, this arc measures 100 degrees. Now, let's solve for angle 1. So, the measure of angle 1 is equal to 1 half the sum of the two intercepted arcs. So, the two intercepted arcs of angle 1 is C, H, and N, A. Or A, N. Again, it's arc C, H, and arc A, N. So, measure of arc C, H plus measure of arc A, N. Again, we use addition because it's sum. And in our figure, the common point of the two second is found already inside. If it's inside, we don't subtract but we add the two intercepted arcs. So let's substitute the following given. Arc CH is 140 degrees plus arc uh, AN, arc AN, arc AN is 80 degrees. 140 plus 80 is 220 degrees. And one half of 220 degrees is 110 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 is 110 degrees. For theorem number 5, if a second and a tangent intersect at a point of tangency, then the measure of each angle form is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So this illustration shows theorem number 5. So to solve this angle and also this angle, so first let's solve for measure of angle VHN. That is just equal to one half of the measure of arc VH. So again, measure of angle VHN, VHN, this angle is just equal to one half of the measure of arc VH, arc VH. If arc VH measures 120 degrees, I mean 140 degrees, and this opposite uh, arc or this major arc measures 220 degrees. So Let's substitute 140 to our arc VH. So one half of 140 degrees, that is equal to 70 degrees. So measure of angle VHN is equal to 70 degrees. How about for um, measure of angle VHC? VHC, that is just one half of the measure of arc VRH. Measure of arc VR. H. Arc VRH, arc VRH is 220 degrees. One half of 220 degrees is 110 degrees. So that is the measure of angle VHC. And if you add the two angles, it should be it should equal to 180 degrees. Let's try to see. 70 degrees plus 110 degrees is equal to 180 degrees because this angle forms a straight line. This tangent line forms a straight line, so it is 180 degrees. Now, uh, to summarize everything for the theorems on angles formed by tangents and seconds, just remember the following figures. If the intersection of the second line, tangent lines, is outside the circle, then to solve that angle, you will just have one half of the difference of the two arcs. And if the intersection of seconds, second lines is inside, then it is just one half then the measure of the angles formed inside is just one half the sum of the two intercepted arcs. While if the intersection of a tangent line and a second line is on the circle, then the measure of the angles formed is just one half of its intercepted arcs.